This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. And with us in studio, we have Carrie Phillips from Southern Fidelity Mortgage. She's their number one loan officer. She has a bachelor's in marketing and an MBA. You know, today we want to talk about refinancing. Uh, you know, Shelly and I, uh, our clients contact us all the time and ask us the question, should I refinance? When should I do it? If I'm you, I'm pulling out my mortgage statement and I'm going to look at the rate. Uh, first, I'm going to look at the rate. If it's anything above, you know, 4.25, 4% even, um, that might be an indication that you are not paying current market rates. Mm-hmm. Rates in the threes, in the lower threes, mm-hmm. and even in the upper twos, mm-hmm. it, it, that's, that's a, those are what rates can go for right that's now. That's the range of rates. That's yeah. some part of the range of rates right yeah. now. Secondly, if you're paying private mortgage insurance, so on your statement, if you're looking at your statement and you're going to see a principal and interest and they're going to show you a portion of your payment goes there. They're going to show you an escrow account and they're going to say, okay, this portion goes to taxes, this portion goes to homeowners insurance, and this portion goes to private mortgage insurance. If you're if you see the private mortgage insurance w- words there, that might be an indication that you, you should refinance. Mm-hmm. There's the, a third point you should um, look at your statement. Um, some servicers do state that you have a conventional loan, an FHA loan, or a VA loan on the statement. You might just be able to remember what kind of loan you did. If you did an FHA loan, you are paying private mortgage insurance. You are. Mm-hmm. So if... If you there was a reason that you did an FHA loan at the beginning, but it might be time to refinance out of an FHA loan into a conventional mortgage and drop that private mortgage insurance. As long as you have a little bit of equity, we can we can do that. What people did do back when uh, values were increasing faster than you know you could go through a drive-through in McDonald's. Right. You know people would take money out, uh, take the cash out, and spend it on. Um, trips and boats and toys and what that did to our um, our our minds you know is it was sort of a, a an awareness now created and so people I think are um, think of that fact that that happened they limit themselves right. they only want what they need because I think uh, psychologically they have what happened in the past in their minds if you just need a little bit of money and you have so much equity in your house I have somebody that came to me the other day that owned their house free and clear and just wanted about 12000 out I suggested them doing an equity line of credit mm-hmm. not a fixed rate mortgage because if you only need a little <laughs> bit an equity line of credit doesn't cost anything mm-hmm. it is on a variable rate it's based on prime which is variable but if you go under the history of prime very little movement with prime right. so if you if you're if you're in that type of scenario i would suggest an equity line of credit if you are in a va loan currently and you just or an fha loan, uh, loan currently and you just want to lower your rate you there's you can actually do a refinance that you don't show any income you don't show any ba- bank statements there is no appraisal you basically go to the lender and say i have Run my credit. Let's prove that I've made my uh, um, payments on time for the last 12 months, and I'd like to go into uh, a lower rate refinance. The lender approves. It only applies if the same people are going to remain on the loan. If you want to change anything with your loan, how it's set up, like as far as the um, who's on tight or who's right. on the mortgage loan, you, you can't do that. It's then a totally different refinance. But if everything's staying the same and you only want to reduce uh, your rate and you're wanting to go to VA to VA or FHA to FHA, it's called a streamline and it's so easy. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.